I would like to welcome you in this paradise. This is art. Our land here, Al Haptur Polo, is architecturally, landscape, people, which I'm proud of. Us and our government work hand by hand. This is why we are successful. And you are most welcome later to take a tour, and I hope you will enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. The opening, we had the dressage, we had show jumping. We parade all uh, the kind of horses that we have within our stables, which is riding uh, for kids, uh, ponies, uh, all kinds of horses, just to educate people exactly what kind of horses do we have. 50% of the project is equestrian, which is related to dressage, show jumping, and riding school. This year we have confirmed many uh, tournaments happening. This month, over 100 horses have moved to our stables from uh, clients. This place is very special. The St. Regis Dubai Al Habtur Polo Resort and Club is unique in the world. It's the only St. Regis Polo Resort. We wanted to organize an event where the guests can learn about the whole resort rather than just the hotel. When guests arrived, we organized tour for them to go see the beautiful stables that we have, uh, the villas that we have. We wanted to introduce the culture of dressing up properly. The best thing you can do is put on the right outfit and go out. Some people are dressed impeccably. I mean, they, you know, with the top hat, you know, with the with the feather, with the, all this was really, really nice. And we surprised them all with a weekend stay, right? For uh, for those that came in, uh, you know, dressed. So we gotta encourage that every year. I am wearing a morning dress uh, with a top hat. I am wearing a long cocktail dress and fascinator. This dress is my own design. It's respectful to, to make an effort, and I love to dress up, so. <laughs> we make the effort to be dressed well in order to match with the event. The environment is very in incredible. The place is amazing. We invite a lot of people not all of them knows about horses, but we thought, you know, to show them what United Arab Emirates is showing, you know, compared to anywhere in the world.